Hi, I am Diane K. Spear, and on the library, uh, sorry, the HBU directory, I am listed as Catherine K. Spear. So if you see Catherine K. Spear, that is also going to link back to me. Uh, you see my phone number here and also my email address. So if you take this and um, contact me, then I can also meet with your classes or I can actually make a video if you're an online professor and you need a video about a certain assignment. be glad to help you with that and with instruction. I usually am here at covering um, right now business, psychology, some science, and then also education and probably counseling. Okay, so let me go ahead and take this uh, to the HBU Movie Library website, which is, let's see, let me close this, go here, and we're going to type in HBU Moody Library.edu Moody. You can also get to this from the library's homepage. The reason I'm um, talking to you today is I want to show you some updates I made in the APA citation uh, guide. The, so let me go down to the reference um, research, let's see what I call that. The research guides down here. So I moved down to the nine boxes. I'm clicking on research guides. And it's really easy to get to this APA guide. Just type in APA here as a search. And then you can go straight to the link right here to 7th edition APA. And here is the guide that I was talking to you about earlier that I sent you the link for. Over on the left side, you'll see there is some downloadable uh, a Word document that has examples of citations for your students. There's also a link to Purdue OWL here and also on the right side. And then information about uh, Burroughs publications. I said possible examples, I wasn't too sure. And then also my latest APA index. The reason I made the index is because sometimes in my mind I don't use the same headings that they would label there there in their index, in the APA index. That's not to say the APA index for the 7th edition is not a very good index. It's probably the, the best index I've seen. But anyway, I went ahead and as I was going through this and reading this, if I saw something I thought I might need in a hurry, I went ahead and made my own index and put that uh, page number on my index alphabetically. So uh, just this morning, I went ahead and added these two up here to these tabs right here. This wasn't here before. So when you click on the word document, you get the examples of a book, a journal article online without a DOI, and then a journal article from Eric. Now this can be a little tricky because there's some with uh, the ED and some without uh, that are not documents. Uh, the journals with the DOI examples. Then I've also got a, a Dove Got doc example and then some examples from JSTOR. And then I've also given some tips on things that I do when I am setting up a research uh, list or source list. Be before I even start, this is what I'll do to make it easier for me to um, save time going back and forth in the manual. Okay. So let's go ahead and close this and click on the index. Here's my index, and this gets updated periodically. Uh, the last time I did it was, I think, in November of last year. Actually, this morning I added something to it. Um, if you go down to the ends, for example, um, you'll see that there is a, a list for names. Weird. <laughs> So um, here in this section, in section 9, it talks about author's names and how many you can use in a citation and that kind of thing. Um, the thing I found was that there were some foreign names I wasn't sure how to cite. So in that section there, you can find some information about that. Okay, so these are two, like I said, two handouts that I went ahead and added to tabs because otherwise I was being forced to use the, the login every time I open something in Word in a classroom and that was painful and I would have to bring my phone every time which I'll probably still have to do anyway but um, I wanted you guys to see that these have been added it'll help you and help your students much make things much easier you of course know I'm hoping from the email I sent out that there's some really awesome videos here for your students made created by Credo 
um, there's like a little short video and then there's modules throughout. And so if you watch that and someone asks you a question, you can say, oh, go to the video, watch that, or you know, go to the APA guide um, and go to module five and that should answer your question, that kind of thing. I've also got some templates here from different universities with their templates that they use for their APA um, assignments uh, that your students might can use. I've already asked permission to use those. And then of course we've got our link to Purdue OWL over here and other APA um, sites that were listed in the APS, APA's DOM manual as I was reading through it. Okay, so like I said, if you need any help, I'm here to help you. If you need help with references, if you need help with research with your publications, I'm here to help. Um, please don't hesitate to ask for help. Make an appointment, email me, call me on my phone. Let's see what else. You can also chat from the library's homepage. Uh, let me scoot this over. If you're on the library's homepage and you see this little green box, you can also um, chat right in there. Okay, and so we're here for you. We're, help, we're here to help your students also. Also, there's a set of tutors in the tutoring center that will also help with APA. Uh, this semester, uh, spring 2022, uh, it would be um, Claire Jones, and also she, I think she's got two or three people that also will help more with APA citation, and I'll be meeting with them today uh, to talk to them about that. All right, you have a wonderful weekend, and have a wonderful uh, semester and the rest of the year. Thanks.